Loaded, and welcome to Beyond Measure. This is the final part three of our Western card series. This is the one and a half inch Create a Sticker Machine by Zyron. The pieces in which you're seeing are our belt loops for our blue jeans and our yoke. Remove the protective plastic and remove the little tiny yoke and adhere to the very bottom edge of the outside of our card. Woohoo! Up next is the Zyron 5 inch Create a Sticker Machine. We ran the waistband of our blue jeans through it. Even though I ran it through the Zyron, you can see that it still needs some touching up with some liquid adhesive. So feel free to touch up with liquid adhesive, making sure to overlap the yolk just a little bit. One, two, skip to blue. This is so fun. Okay, so now we're going to adhere our very first belt loop. After doing so, I will measure with my pinky to the edge of the card and then measure from the back edge so that I'll have the perfect placement for my other belt loop. Okay, let's measure between these two belt loops, making a mark at where each belt loop needs to be placed, which turns out to be one and seven eighths inches in between each belt loop. You have got to try this technique. It's so awesome. We get to use our Crafter's Companion Ultimate Tool again with our Craft Core in Barn Door by Tim Holtz. Find the smaller star and emboss. Now use your tonic Tim Holtz scissors and cut around the embossed edge. I can hear it now. Oh, the tumble and tumbleweed. So we're going to use our Sizzix Texture Boutique, our damask folder, and flip the star upside down in the folder to deboss it to create a lovely leather effect. Rope and catch that chipboard so that you can sand, making sure to wipe away the dust with your microfiber cloth, then use your tonic distressing tool around all edges, Woohoo! Now we get to use the Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Walnut Stain and Black Soot. Now saddle up those horses. We've got a trail to blaze. Ink with Tim Holtz Clear Embossing Ink on the red side. Then sprinkle with some Ranger Clear Embossing Powder and heat with that heating gun. Are you a quick draw? Aha! This is so exciting. So we get to use the We Are Memory Keepers so easy. Making sure to take advantage of the guidelines on your piercing mat. This is some lovely baker's twine from the Twinery in Maraschino. We are antiquing it with Walnut Stain Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. Thread it through the So Easy needle and whip stitch all around the star. Start at any hole from the bottom, go around and then go up from the bottom again, and then up from the bottom again, and then up from the bottom again. I'm using some glue dots to help secure the ends of the twine. We get to use the wonderful Zyron 5 inch creative sticker machine once again for edge to edge adherence. But I will say, on the coordinations, for some reason, it has difficulty adhering from edge to edge. So then we assist it with Ranger's glossy accents. What a strong adherence this gives, it's awesome. So adhere the star on top of the other star that you had previously cut. yippee ya yo kaye aha These are made by Bedazzler and they are little four-pronged studs that have a plastic gemstone that are silver rimmed. I trimmed off the little prongs, then adhered them with glossy accents by Ranger. Woohoo! Coordinations to the rescue, right? This is for our sentiment. I'm using the brown side for the background and the lighter side for the actual sentiment. When die cutting with the wonderful Coordinations cardstock, the best way to sand every single edge of your die cut is to leave it in its original piece of cardstock and sand. Then you can get every edge for sure. Now trim the 3D pop dots as shown and apply to the back of your sentiment, which is howdy! 
the Scotch repositionable tape enables me to place my letters on this shadow with ease. You'll need to sand on your card in the area in which your howdy will go and adhere the howdy with Ranger's glossy accents and accent with the glossy accents too. I tore out a scrap piece of parchment paper, rolled it, and inked it with Vintage Photo Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. Adhere with Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. And now you have the look of a little wanted poster for your heartfelt sentiments. Now use your two brown close to my heart brads. Had I thought ahead of time, I could have poked them through the paper, but I didn't, so I trimmed it off the little brad part and adhered with Ranger's glossy accents. Happy trails to you. This is our completed project, perfect for the sheriff's posse. And you, cause you are so very special. Y'all come back now, you hear? Be blessed beyond measure. Thank you.